four changes for Pablo Mastroeni coming off the 3-0 loss at home against LAFC. Bodie Hidalgo comes in at right back. Yeah, zero changes coming off that win against Vancouver. So Ivicic in goal back four, left to right. Bravo, Zuperich, McGraw, Mosqueda. Keep an eye on Paredes. And a festive atmosphere for those who have withstood the elements. We are underway. The visiting Timbers in the Heritage Rose kit. Huge assets available and doing your due diligence, doing your scouting, and making sure that you get these deals over the line for some extremely talented young players. Gomez, oh, off the post! Off the left foot and off the post. Let's take a look here at the, the Gomez shot. Well, he's isolated 1v1 with Bravo, and he just shows up, gets inside left foot, and I'll tell you what, Ivicic was a bit fortunate. I think he was really sightlined right there. You can see it came through. What? can play in so many different positions. Evander drives. First real attempt for Portland was a good one. Zach McMath able to keep it with inside the boundary. No corner kick. Early touches, but here perfectly capable of showing what he can do inside out. Gets on the inside. It's going to be an acute angle that he's got to beat the goalkeeper, Zach McMath. He elects to push as opposed to hold on to it. Evander over the last three games involved in five of the seven goals scored by Portland. So he's all over it. Gomez, this time off the right foot, straight to Ivacic. Yeah, we saw him shimmy and shake, similar against Portland to what he did a couple of weeks ago in the U.S. Open Cup. Santiago Moreno. But again, there's Evander, the influence of Evander. So simple and so clean. Calls his own number, one hop. Zach McMath making his 11th start. Portland getting a little bit more of the ball. Anelli for Glad. Taken back here, Paredes, Bully, onside of Ander. First touch is on goal. Left boot. And his debut, the game we had down at FC Dallas, coming off the bench again, the game time goal. Evander over the wall. Hit it well, but Zach McMath locates it. In my estimation. Yeah, listen, I think it's an incredible market. Severino. Oh, it's there, but a big save. The follow-up off the crossbar. Actually off the post. There from the unlikeliest of goal scorers, Brian Ojeda. Great save by Ivicic. Yeah, great reaction save from Ivicic. And it looks like Justin Glad looking for another goal off his head. Two so far this season. He gets through the weeds, and that is a great big old bear claw save from Ivicic. And then Ojeda off the outside of the right post. Left foot, and he can go into the locker room and he can push some buttons. I think there's a lot to be proud of in terms of the balance, but when you've got the ooh, dangerous tackle. That'll be the first booking, yeah. and thankfully for Nelly, it's not worse than a yellow. Whoever can win this, if there is a winner, is going to feel really good. A loser is going to feel pretty crummy. By the way, Donnie, I meant to ask you in the first half is RSL and Claret and Cobalt with possession in half number two. Reading some of the Portland publications, they're, they're saying a nickname for Evander is the Redeemer. How do you, does that ring okay? Turned over. Moreno. Oh, bully! Great reaction, McMath. Evander! Away by Glad. In the first 45 minutes, and just he has a different player profile that really fits this team. And look how quickly he gets his shot off. This is a skipping ball at full speed, Max, and he's able to twerk his body, get the instep, and really tag this, put it on frame, and that is a really good save from Zach McMath. Resume all team functions and activities. Who knows where his fitness is? Only Adrian Heath and his staff will know, but you talk about one heck of a jewel in terms of a playmaker. Chang, spectacular attempt by Jakison. Portland prepare for another substitution. It's going to be Nathan. Brazilian forward who was so key earlier in the season. Is he looking for goal number three? Justin Glad with a ball that had a lot of movement on it. Big old bright eyes and it's up in the stands, but Justin Glad strikes through, lands on his plant foot, keeps his head down, and Ivicic not taking any risk whatsoever. Tags this ball, Justin. And now Mosquera, width here for Bully. Yeah, so it looks like Nathan and Marvin Loria both getting set to be the second phase of substitutions. This is a good spell by Real Salt Lake. They are clearly the more aggressive team, but can they get the payoff? Yellow card for Frank Bully. He's going on goal here, right, Tony? I'm more than capable. <laughs> Seems like a short 10 yards. Severino! 
The late games have gone final. Uh -oh. Austin wins. Uh -oh. There's a chance here by Aspria. Did that kiss the post? And the ball just comes off Justin Glad. He can't trap it. Dirona Spria just jumps all over it. Yep. Good eyes, Pretos. I'm surprised because no one said good eyes for me in about <laughs> five years. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk about his game in a moment. But first is free kick. Chang takes it quickly again. And these quick set pieces are panicking Portland. You know, it was interesting because Ivicic, that, that, that's more of a central ball. They'll get a cross in. Redirected. Knocked out by Bravo. Excellent play. And it is over in Utah. And it is 370 minutes since Royal Salt Lake last scored a goal.